I'm Brianna Jones at the 2013 Pumper and Cleaner Environmental Expo. I'm here with Gerard Nighorn of Lenzyme. Gerard has been presenting at the Pumper and Cleaner Expo for five years, is that correct? That's correct, five years going now. And how's it going so far? Fantastic, we love this show. All right, and today Gerard is going to be presenting a seminar called New Untapped Techniques for Capturing Today's Customers. Can you tell us a little bit about that seminar? Absolutely. Um, we're going to have seven tips that we're presenting to everybody, and those seven tips are to help you grow your business. Um, a lot of the smaller mom and pop companies out there, uh, they can benefit from any of these tips. We just like you to pick one or two of them and get going with it this year. How has a changing customer base forced companies to redirect their marketing? Um, I think you got to keep up with today's marketing, and especially in the technology world. Um, a lot of it's going towards um, uh, like Facebook and things like that. So I think people need to learn more about using their computers and getting out there and you know sharing that information with everybody. And that information will be offered in the seminar today? Absolutely. Yep. It's one of our tips that we're going to be doing today. And how will the information people learn today in the seminar benefit their businesses back home? Um, well, when you get back, we're going to be talking about a little bit about social media, very important. So you're going to be able to get on, at, in fact, you can do it right here. If you have a laptop, you can start your social media today right down here at the convention. But when you get back home, absolutely set it up, get on Facebook. We want to see you do more social media because it's going to help grow your business. Thanks, Gerard. I'd like to also thank Cole Publishing. Um, you guys do a wonderful job down here. This convention, I always tell everybody, it's like the Bible. You know, you come down here, there's so much to see. Um, this is the place to be. You network here, and you know, all the businesses have an opportunity to come here and learn so much. So thanks again. Thank you. I'm here with Jim Andrew of Innerline Engineering. Jim leads seminars here on Education Day at the Pumper and Cleaner Expo. Jim, can you tell us what kind of seminars you lead? Well, we have a committee out of Southern California called the Southern Sections Collection Systems Committee. And we actually put on training seminars in Southern California. So we take a lot of those classes that we give to uh, the people in Southern California and, and bring them out to the, uh, the expo here. We deal with uh, a lot of collections topics, such as sewer cleaning, CCTV inspection. Uh, sometimes we branch into areas such as business, uh, small business, but all based upon our industries. Uh, some of the classes today were easement, cleaning, and inspection. So each year we try to bring in different topics that kind of cover the collection side of the business. And how does the information you teach to attendees help them in their business? Well, we try to bring topics that are uh, things that are important now. For example, the class that's going on right now is the next generation of Tier 3 nozzles, which is talking about the new technology in the type of nozzles that are being used. These are really important uh, important information that sometimes people don't know that can really help them do better as contractors or even as uh, city people because these nozzles have really raised the level of cleaning. For example, if you had a 80 GPM unit, uh, combination unit, a few years ago, you couldn't do the things that you can do today uh, with the same machine with these nozzles. It really helps you be a lot more uh, productive, a lot more efficient, and cost effective as well. How many years have you been coming to the show? You know, the first time I came, uh, I believe it was in 1990, and uh, then I had kind of a gap, so uh, I've seen it kind of morph over the years. As a matter of fact, I remember in Nashville, uh, being at the Opryland Hotel, and there was nothing outside of it, just oh. uh, all open land, and so uh, uh, it's changed a bit, but uh, been for been a while. What does the expo mean to you? You know, it's a wonderful time of the year. Uh, there's obviously, over the uh, a period of time, you wind up seeing a lot of the same faces, uh, relationships that you establish here that you see once a year. Uh, and it's, it's fun to speak each year as well. Mm -hmm. And we obviously, we, we enjoy that very much. And there's individuals that come up that we only see on these occasions. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's also feedback that we get. Uh, it's important as we uh, prepare you know, we do a lot of preparation when it comes to putting on these seminars. We actually uh, meet as a group and critique each other's seminars of two months before we even come up Ooh. here to make sure that we're hitting it right on the money. And so when we get feedback from attendees, it's, it's really valuable for us. Thanks, Jim. My pleasure. Thank you.